Hey guys, and welcome and welcome back to my channel. So things look a tad bit different. I switched up my background and changed some of my equipment and lighting. Let me know in the comments what you think down below. I'm still trying to get used to it, still trying to figure some things out. Um, but as you can see, there are a lot of boxes behind me and on the floor and in front of me. Um, in the month of October, I was really focused on all of the Halloween stuff that I was doing and you know, I had some other things going on. So I got pretty behind in unboxing my PR packages, so behind that I got on Snapchat one day to do it. And then I was just like, you know, ain't nobody got time to be doing 10 second snaps of all these packages. So I said, do you guys wanna see a PR unboxing? Cause I've never done one of these on my channel before. And it, you, you pretty much said yes, okay? You, you guys pretty much said yes. I think only like three people said no. So I was like, they'll be all right. Um, so if you wanna see me unbox all these packages because I wanna, you know, get this intro over with because there's a lot to get through, then just stay tuned. So the first thing I have to show you is the My Little Pony palette in collaboration with Pure Cosmetics. I'm pretty sure you've seen this in just about 18 other My Little Pony collabs within the last month, which is just like, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of weird where it's just like, hey, what's one movie TV show that we should all collab with? My Little Pony, okay, you know, Moana, Frozen, okay, My, My Little Pony, there it is. Um, So it does have a mirror, which I will not show to blind all of you, and this is what the inside of the palette looks like. Now, although this was a random collaboration, I am certainly here for it, though. This was in my shopping cart on Alta's website, but then I saw this on Octoly's website, and this was sent to me by Octoly and Pure, and I was like, let me just go ahead and scoop that up, because this is giving me Christmas vibes. Like, this is giving me pretty Christmas, New Year's with this gold here vibe, so I'm definitely going to be doing a Christmas New Year's look with this palette. Um, I thought this red was a glitter from the promotions that I saw online, but it is not. I'm not mad at it though. Uh, and I was oddly shocked with the Love Your Selfie palette by Pure on how pigmented their shades are. So uh, can't wait to test this out. So my next package is also from Octoly. And let me just actually first, let me just pull it up. Um, it is from Lancome. It is their translucent silky loose powder. Is this new? Has anyone heard of this powder before I pulled it out just now? Because I saw it on Oxley's website and I was like, there's a new, there's a new powder from Lancome? And it must be new because I feel like with all of the requests that I've gotten, all the videos that I've done on a powder that is for medium to deep skin tones, or I think this is just like dark deep uh, skin tones, that I would have gotten a request on this if it wasn't new. This is what it looks like. It is in the shade 500. It's a dark setting powder. Um, so I went on YouTube, I was looking, and the most recent videos that I saw, and there were only like three um, videos on this, were from two months ago. So I'm like, it has to be new. I went on Sephora's website, I couldn't find it there. You can only find it at Macy's, I believe, and like Lancome's website. Um, so I'm definitely gonna do a video on this because if it's good, I'm just gonna be sitting here like, why is no one funding this? Why is no one talking about this? So video, product showdown, you know, uh, comparison with the Laura Mercier is coming very soon. So the next package that I got comes in this pretty floral packaging and how sad is it that all it takes is some nice floral print on the envelope that the package comes in for me to be excited. But this is from Glam Queen Cosmetics. Um, she did reach out to me on Instagram to say, you know, could she send me some things? And I believe she's a YouTuber as well. So if I'm correct that she is a YouTuber, then her, uh, you know, channel info will be in the description box down below. This is the product that she sent. And there's the little card. Side. That's a business card. And this little card says, Hi, Shanine. Thank you so much for trying out Glam Queen products. I hope you love them as much as me. I provided you with a twin. Oh, okay. Thank you. I provided you with a 20% off discount code, Too Much Mouth, which I will also have uh, pop up here somewhere on the screen for your followers to use to purchase lashes or lippies. XOXO GQ Cosmetics. So this is the baggie that she sent, and I see lippies. And I see a brown lippy. If you are not new to my channel, then you know your girl is excited just from this one color. Okay. Ooh. I sounded like makeup shale. Um, there's that brown. That is very pretty. And it is right up my alley. Thank you. Thanks, boo. Um, can't wait to see how this looks like on my lips, but 
on my hand it is very pretty and then there are two reds I feel like I like this one better all right let's see this is oh um that brown shade is in the shade 003 that probably isn't going to focus I'm not sure why I'm showing it to you and this shade right next to it is 005 which is a very beautiful color this is perfect for the fall slash winter slash holidays so I'm excited just off those two lipsticks and there are two more but you know we're gonna try to keep this video pushing um and then there are these little baggies which are your lashes there is this pair uh, um this is called the natural lash and then there's another pair very cute little uh you see there which is in the style party which are a little bit a little bit more dramatic but i feel like they're still pretty um you know so moving on i realized i opened this box upside down and i'm really worried about what's inside just like falling um because of how i opened it it's not okay oh who's it from this is from mode cosmetics I feel like that's a brand that I've heard mode. Oh no, I'm thinking of Mo Motive Cosmetics. Is it Motive? Okay, anyway. Um, so inside, let's see. So it's this little acrylic tray of what looks like lip glosses. And your girl is really excited right now because look at this. L look at the lip glosses. All right, anyone who was born before like 90, Seven, 98 we'll know why your girl is excited look at these lip glosses they're like the back in the day type of lip glosses which I'm pretty sure all of us owned like just all of us owned um and like I said it's mode cosmetics and it says a new breed of lip gloss all grown up delicious wet shine lip glaze glide on wet shine gloss nine dollars how much did they cost back in the day? Um, you know, maybe it's the whole all grown up thing. I really don't remember how much they cost. That's how long ago that your girl owned any of these. And they come in 30 irresistible flavors. And flavors tells me that they have a scent to them. But this is what the acrylic tray looks like. And they sent me six. So, let's see here. This is orangey, orangey. It's probably gonna smell like citrus. I don't I don't smell anything at all um, okay what do you do this is sheer raspberry now that has a scent and it smells like raspberry oh god this if this doesn't have a scent then we have a problem yep Grape soda just smacked me right in the face with this. Oh, this is bringing back so many memories. And the, they did send me a shade that is clear. This is literally going right in my purse. I almost forgot the cutest parts of that entire package. There's a little envelope card here that says my name on it, Shanine. And let's just that up. says mode and hi Shanine we hope you will love our lip glazes as much as we do XO Christina and Jennifer thank you Christina and Jennifer just looking at them your girl is already in love because I just love anything that reminds me of what it was like being a child slash teenager okay so this is the next package and again pretty packaging means your girl is already excited this is from a ACHQ AC, ACHQ, oh, oh, okay, there are a whole bunch of sunflower, like fake sunflowers in here, um, random, but uh, I feel like it'll be cute for like Instagram flat lay pictures, and um, when I was opening this up, I realized that, okay, hold on, I realized that it says open by 1022, and it is not. 
10, 22. So my bad, I dropped the ball on that one. But who is this from? Was a better question. Oh, Amazing Cosmetics. Oh, AC, AC, HQ, Amazing Cosmetics. Okay, um, so this is them introducing our Revolutionary Illuminate Primer which I'm pretty sure is already out now since I was supposed to open this a couple days ago. Available available for purchase at select Ulta stores. And they have three shades that I'm guessing. I feel like I've heard of this primer. This box is pretty beat up, but they sent me the shade bronze. I'm guessing because you know like their primers, like certain shades will look good depending on certain skin tones. I'm guessing though, I, you might be able to wear all three. You know, don't, don't quote me on that. Um, but this is what it looks like. Thank you, Amazing Cosmetics. Okay, so the next box is from Charlie K Cosmetics, and if I didn't know this video was gonna take so long, I would have a very funny story on me picking up this package at the post office, but it is, so I'll save that for another time. Um, but she also reached out to me on IG, and there's a little envelope and note here. Let me just read, let me read that first. Okay, it says my name on it again. I love anything that's like personalized like this. Um, I always keep all of the little, you know, notes or cards that companies send. Anything personalized, anything like that, I keep because I don't know, it just makes me feel uh, nice inside. All right, it says thanks on it. And how to apply Charlie, Charlie K Cosmetics lashes. Okay, it's just uh, tips. Uh, on how to apply their lashes, which, you know, if your products need directions, then please send them. Don't wait until everyone's complaining and then say, well, you're just using it wrong. No shade. All right, so um, there's a letter in here too. It says, Shanine, I personally wanted to thank you for giving my small company a chance Aww. by using our products. I hope you enjoy it. Love, Charlie K. You don't need to thank me. Like, can you imagine just turning down a product, a makeup product when you're a beauty blogger because it's from some small company. Like, nah, send it over here. I'll try it out. All right, let's put you down. First of all, this box, I feel like I'm about to propose to myself by opening this. This is probably the closest your girl will ever get to that. Um, maybe that's why she's excited. And, oh, all right, so there are two lashes in here and look at look at how they come they come in these little like compacts have have you ever had lashes come like that i have never seen lashes packaged like this um i'm used to lashes that are in some type of box that looks like this these are the lashes that i'm wearing today um so i am i am actually really excited right now i feel like the smallest of things excite me i'm so childish um but this is the style russian dawn and it's a very dramatic dear god okay <laughs> This is the style, it's very dramatic. And the other one is a little bit. Okay, I love the, I love that it comes in the compact, but your girl would also love to be able to open it without slicing her finger. Okay, I'm not even gonna try it because we know your girl is accident prone. Um, and I feel like you guys can still see it. This is the style Lusitano. Lusitan, someone will correct me in the comments down below. And it is definitely a more natural lash. So thank you, Charlie K. Can't wait to try those lashes out because your girl is literally on her last legs with these Lily Lashes Miami. And I don't feel like ordering a new pair because they're like $30. Okay. So the next package is from Face Tori. I first mentioned them in my hour long subscription unboxing video. And funny thing, they've been sending me packages <laughs> ever since which yeah, cool um but i'm loving october's theme because it's breast cancer awareness themed and breast cancer is something that is very close to my heart because if you are new or you just don't keep up with me on my social medias then you wouldn't know that my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2014 and i, I feel like i just can't stress enough 
how much I need you all to go get checked. I need you to go get checked. I need you to go get your family members to go get checked. I need you to get your friends to go get checked because it is so important that you catch it in its early stages. It makes such a big difference in you or your loved one's life if they unfortunately, you know, God forbid, are diagnosed or something like that, how much of a difference it makes if you catch it early on or if you catch it later on because Let's not even get into it. You know, I thought to myself, like, how can I force these people to go get checked? I was like, hold a giveaway where you know you gotta prove that you enter. But I'm like, Shanine, how are they gonna prove that they went to go get checked? Like, what are they supposed to do? Send you your results? So I was like, I don't know, maybe I can hold like an actual event where you know you go, you get checked, you leave with a goodie bag. I don't know. I'm thinking about it, but I'm like, some way, somehow, in my mind. I'm gonna put this together it's going to happen because um again just like it happened to someone who's close to me it could happen to someone who's close to you and i don't want that because it is not a fun moment all right i feel like this is going somewhere where it doesn't need to go so let me just unbox the actual box which is why which is why you're here okay so on the inside it says let your faith be bigger than your fear also cute. very cute packaging inside there's a card that says your favorite sheet mask subscription mention code too much mouth 20 for your subscribers to get 20 percent off their first box or kit once again that code will pop up somewhere here on the screen shanine oh shanine maurice all right use my whole government name there um hey beautiful we're so excited for you to try out all of the wonderful pink sheet mask in our breast cancer awareness october box happy masking xoxo face tori and there's another card in here that says girl power every woman no matter her battle has the right to feel beautiful of course in her own skin three percent of all proceeds from both face tori october subscription plans will be donated to the breast cancer re damn it <laughs> why did i wait so long to open this box i mean it's still october so you know if you you want to get sheet mask you can use my code gets but 20 percent off your first one and three percent of all those proceeds will go to breast cancer research foundation Cool. Okay, so I actually have two boxes from Derma E. Usually they sound like, I don't know, one a month, but I don't know if this was like a special or maybe I'm just that behind that I still have September's box. I don't know which one came out first, so I'm just gonna open this one with my hands. Okay, so there's only two things in here. There's their Derma E Purifying Gel Cleanser Activated Charcoal. And there is their Derma E Purifying 2-in-1 Charcoal Mask Activated Charcoal. Okay, I'm excited about both of these because usually charcoal does good with my skin and my Dermalogica cleanser is like on its last drops and your girl isn't ready to go repurchase that because I don't think, I don't believe Dermalogica is cheap, but I think that cleanser is like $30, $40, something like that. Okay, and the, let me put you down, the second package that I got from Derma E. Oh, um, they collaborated with Sunkiss Alba, who is an OG here on YouTube, for her favorites box. Cool. Okay. Let's see here. So the first thing I'm seeing here. I know I've said I'm really excited, but I'm really excited right now. It's this Echo Tools dry brush. Dry brushing is so good for your skin. I have one, like a one with the handle but I don't know where it is I haven't been able to find it since the move but I have a new one now and I've heard nothing but good things about this brand so I'm excited to try this out um but look up dry brushing it's actually really good for you just make sure you get the right type of brush because it can low-key hurt depending on how you do it um the next thing in here is the Derma E Radiant Glow Face Oil um, which I believe they collaborated with, with Sunkiss Alba because I received this in the mail before and since I would now have three i'm just gonna throw this one in the giveaway box or one of the boxes okay there's this juice beauty sheer lip gloss okay actually juice beauty is the cleanser that i use in the morning right now i had never heard um too much on the brand and i decided i decided to just you know give it a whim and try out their cleanser and it's like that I'm making sure I repurchase once I am out of it. This is what the gloss looks like and even though it is a pretty gloss I'm just gonna go ahead and slide that in one of the giveaway bags as well. Let's see there is this. 
Just this is a headband that says Derma E. Very cute. I'm not gonna replace my foundation hunt headband, but I can use it for something else. Okay, there is this Patcha Soap. Cool. Clarifying charcoal, even cooler after seeing the word charcoal. Derma E Purifying Daily Detox Scrub. Is that what they just sent me? I don't know. We'll find. And Derma E Nourishing Rose Cleansing Oil. I believe they sent me this. Oh. All right. Anything else in here? Uh, there's hair ties. I don't know who. I don't know whose hair these actually know. I don't know, hair ties have to be really specific for my hair because it'll snap in a second, but these might be able to work. All right, Derma E. Okay, just keep finding things. Pacifica Micro Batch Roll-On Perfume. I have never tried anything from, I've never tried anything from Pacifica. And I think the last, last thing, like the actual last thing, is this nail polish from Mineral Fusion. Okay, thank you, Derma E. My bad for taking so long to open all of this. So next up is Pixie Beauty, and I always love their packages because their skincare is bomb. That glow tonic, the liquid form, bruh. Okay, so looking like you, only better in no time, that's Pixie. okay? And looks like... These are cheek sticks. Oh, these are lipstick. Okay. These are all six. They are pretty pinky nude shades. I don't know if they're my shades, except maybe this one. This one might be a nice shade. So, you know, I'm just gonna just go ahead and uh, add those to some of those giveaway bags. But I'm gonna test out this one to see what it looks like. Okay, that is that shade, which I thought would be a little bit more can you see what I thought it was gonna look like compared to what it does look like? But, eh, eh. we'll see, we'll make it work. But the other ones I will add and some of you will win them in the giveaway. So the next box I have is from Kitsch, 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 okay, cool. Couldn't pronounce it the first time they sent me a package, can't pronounce it now. Um, They did send me a package before and I believe they are a hair accessory company. And I wore their headband. Oh, something just fell out. I wore their headband in the Jouer lip gloss video that I did. Very cute. Hi, Shanine. We're so excited to share our Marvel collection with you. We hope you love it as much as we do. XOXO. Kitsch. Kits. The brand. Okay, so the first, the first thing I see in here is this big claw clip. And I'm actually really excited for this because um, when I was straightening my hair, I used like little bobby pins to section off my hair and it usually never works. It always ends up, it always ends up either slipping or I lose the bobby pin in my hair. So I know I needed these. I, you know, your girl is just like lazy. She didn't want to go to Target. So she doesn't have to now because she has this and she has these two. They sent four, four, three mini ones as well. There's a marble bun pin. I don't really do the whole bun thing just because it's a lot of hair to put up top there and I don't know if it's just me but I feel like putting your hair in a ponytail or a bun can make your arms hurt depending on how long you're like holding your arms up to make sure it's the perfect type of ponytail or bun but I don't know that's why I don't do them often because the girl's weak. Ooh, they sent more bobby pins. Their bobby pins are the ones that I use to when I'm straightening my hair. Um, so they sent more of them. Cool. And, ooh. They sent hair ties. These, I'm looking at these kind of like I was looking at the Derma E's. Like, can my hair fit in this? But I'm pretty sure, you know, not fit. Um, can these withhold my hair? But I'm pretty sure I'll be good with these. And they sent a elevated hair tie. Imagine this in your hair with a really high snatched ponytail, Ariana Grande style. I think there's one more thing. Oh, okay. I know for a fact 
that this is not holding my hair. These are no snag elastics. Uh, this is what they look like. Who? No snag who, where? Not I, said the cat. So thank you, Kitsch, Kitsch, um, hair accessories. If you guys ever do, send me another package. You don't have to at all. Um, but if you're ever so graciously kind enough to do that, you know, if you could just slide me a little, you know, dictionary pronunciation so I don't have to butcher your name and feel like a jerk when I'm pronouncing it, um, that'd be great. Okay, so there is this big box. This is from, it is heavy. This is from, what? Oh, this is from Mark. Mark Anthony Cosmetics. Um, every time I hear that, I'm thinking JLo's ex-husband has a cosmetics company. Is it his or is it just, you know, it just happens. To... Okay, anyway, um, but there's this big heavy box from them. Okay, so there is a card with my name on it. You know, it makes me hype. Um, it says Mark Anthony, true professional. Shanine, thanks again for stopping by at Gen Beauty. I did meet them at Generation Beauty. Let me know whenever you need to replenish your stock or try anything else. P.S. I'm totally attempting your pop art zombie for Halloween. Aw, thank you, Lauren and the Mark Anthony team. Okay, their, their hair. I mean, it says cosmetics, but I feel like most of their products are here. It smells, the box smells amazing. There's this defreezing coconut cream curls sulfate free shampoo and the conditioner to go with it. We know your girl has naturally curly hair and I just haven't been finding that many products that I like with my curly hair. So look, God just dropped a whole new brand into my laps to try. Um, they smell amazing. I'll let you guys know how this works hydrating coconut oil and shea butter curl cream eliminates frizz and defines curls with extra hole adds shine i've been forgetting to hold the products up so you guys can see what they look like the next thing that was in there was this 100 percent coconut oil and extra virgin hair and body hair and body 100 percent natural hydration to restore restore dry damaged hair and body so you can put this on your body, which is probably where I'm going to put it. Oh, it's one of those. Those are irritating to open, but I feel like it'll smell like what I'm expecting it to. And the last thing that was in that box is defrizzing coconut cream curls to fine and defrizz smoothie cream. I had the Shea Moisture smoothie cream, but my friend took it. You know now with everything that's happened i don't really regret that she took it but i'm happy that i have a new smoothie so you can probably guess who the next package is from just from seeing the packaging they did reach out and say pick a couple things off their website but that was a while ago so i don't remember what i had picked and when i went to go open it this box was like bursting at the seam and 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 it is bursting at the seams because that is a lot more than I had said I wanted to try out. Like usually when companies are like pick a couple things off our websites, if they say, you know, pick eight to 10 things, I'll pick like seven. Cause you don't want to make it seem like you're that thirsty for products. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Like maybe other people would have been like, I'm gonna take all 10. But I don't know, I like to like lowball it when it comes to that. And um, Ofra said, uh, forget that. I said pick 10, so uh, we're gonna send 20. Okay, so there is a card in here. It says, hi, Shanine. We're so excited to be sending over some products for you to try out. Can't wait to see what you think of everything. XO with love from Ofra team, Kate. Thank you, Kate. All right. Okay, so there are a whole bunch of their long lasting liquid lipsticks. I've only tried two from them before. One was a, I wanna say neon purple-ish, and one I tried not too long ago in one of my, I think, first impressions. I don't remember what shade it was called, the mahogany, no. It starts with an M. All right, so this is Emerald City, Santa Ana, Coven, Americano, Havana Nights, Mo oh, Mocha, it was the shade that I had tried in a video not too long ago, and obviously your girl doesn't need two, so let me just go ahead and slide that over in the uh, give this away pile, okay, but there is more, there are more uh, lip shades, there's Brooklyn, the New Yorker in me just got excited, 
Harlem, okay? And Hypno, imagine if this was Bronx, I just, I think I would've lost it there. So let's just swatch one or two. Okay, so my camera shut off while I was trying to do some swatches. I'm not sure when it shut off. So just in case, I did swatch three of the shades from Ofra. There was Harlem, Emerald City, and Santa Ana. Actually, all three are shades that your girl is very here for, so thank you for that. But that is not it. There are three highlight. Oh, wait, no. This is a blush bronzer, California Dream. Ooh, there's Glow Goals. I have Beverly Hills, I believe. And I think one other highlight shade. I thought I liked Glow Goals, but blind the haters. And I even like the name. And the last thing in here, which I do remember asking them to try out, and now that I think about it, would have been beneficial if I had opened this box before the end of October, is their Ofra Professional Makeup Eyeshadow Palette, Bright Addiction. And it would have been helpful because, this is, oops, I'm not blind you. This is the inside. With all of those Halloween videos that I did, this would have been extremely helpful. But you can still do regular eyeshadow with it, and now I have a true yellow. So this is the next oh my god box that I have, and this is from Fashion Nova. Why did I open this? This is from Fashion Nova. Um, I'm not gonna go through it because I'm gonna do a try on video. I'm not sure why I opened it. So I've got this box here, which doesn't even fit into the frame, from Too Faced Cosmetics. We know your girl likes to drop things, well I don't like to, it just happens, so um, let's just be extra careful. Oh, oh no, <laughs> look at the inside of the box, oh, alright, let's just be extra careful to not drop any of this because your girl doesn't feel like picking this up, but the first thing I see in here is the... 3-in-1 Hangover Primer, no, Primer Setting Spray. I've tried just the primer, and even though I wanna try this setting spray, I'm gonna add it to the giveaway pile because they they released the peach collection, peach, peachy something, peach, peach creams, I don't know. Um, you guys know what collection I'm talking about. They released that collection, and in that collection they have a mattifying setting spray. So I'm gonna pick that up during the VIB sale, so I don't need two setting sprays. So I'll just give away to uh, one of you. Okay. So I found a Better Than Sex mascara, but this is the waterproof version. Their regular pink one is one of my favorites, but I've never tried the waterproof. Doubt it makes a difference. All right. Love Light. Prismatic Highlighter. Never tried it. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna put the box down on the floor, find everything that is in here, and then come back because I feel like that is more time efficient. Okay. Okay, so I think I found everything. I'm gonna have to do a double check though because your girl's not about to throw away perfectly good makeup. But what I did find is the Papa Don't Peach Peach Infused Blush. Now we know your girl is not the biggest blush girl, but you know, I'm slowly, slowly uh, sliding into it. I don't know about this blush though, okay, not blind you. Um, but there's another one in here, this Love Flush Long Lasting 16 Hour Blush. Okay. Another mirror. I think there's another blush. Oh, this doesn't want to close. There we go. Uh, was there another one? Oh wait, no, this was a highlighter. My bad. Okay. There's their Chocolate Soleil bronzer, and I feel like back in the day, this was the only bronzer that 90% of beauty gurus used. Smells like you would expect it to. Chocolate. That is the shade. I did find this in the box and I find it funny because I've already done a video on this. It is their Born This Way Ethereal, I believe. 
setting powder. I did a whole video on this. Don't need to keep two, so you already know. Um, so I will link that in the little eye for you to go check out. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five of their melted matte five of their melted matte lipsticks in pretty shades but i'm really feeling this cranberry red i would say cranberry and the orange and i'm not really that big of an orange person let's see what this red looks like here um i do already have naughty by nature from them which is a dupe for Kylie Cosmetics True Brown K, which I heard they got rid of. Okay, cool, you got rid of like the only brown girl friendly brown. Okay. Oh. I mean, I knew from Naughty by Nature that I already like this formula, but this is Lady Balls. Lady Balls? Oh, is that the, that's the shade that Jackie's been wearing on like everything, which looks amazeballs on her. If you've seen her in that red, I'm actually, your girl just got really excited because that is a beautiful red and it's gonna be beautiful for the holidays. So that is it. Ooh, I never know where to turn for you guys to actually see these swatches. There you go. Okay, and one more swatch from them is gonna be this shade 1998. Is that when the company started? Okay, so we are taking it back to uh, old Nicki Minaj days pink, okay? All right, so there was this Too Faced Shadow Insurance, which I've heard so much about, but I've never, have I picked it up? I might have tried a sample, I don't remember. Um, but I am going to try it, you know, now. So their 24 hour anti-crease eyeshadow primer. I feel like if I have tried it, I would remember. Their Lip Injection Glossy. I do have the just clear uh, lip injection shade, which works, you know, it does give your, I mean, out of all the lip plumpers that I've tried before, it's certainly one of the only ones that has worked, but it burns. I mean, if you if you have sensitive skin and you're not prone to any type of any pain whatsoever, you can't deal with eyebrow waxing, threading, any of that, don't do it to yourself, okay? Because this actually holds true to its claims, so. Mm -mm. But this is a, one of the actual colored shades so this will give your lips some color to it like a boss okay and i guess the biggest things that were in that box are these two eyeshadow palettes which i'm really excited for because out of all the hype that there's been about the Too Faced chocolate bar eyeshadow palettes i've never tried one i always say you know when sephora vib comes around i'll pick one of the palettes up you know there's the chocolate, bonbon, semi-chocolate, white chocolate, I don't know. Um, but then for VIB comes around, I'm just like, kind of need skincare. So it always got pushed back, but you know, now I don't need to keep pushing it back because they sent, I think, the original, like the first chocolate bar palette. Um, oh, and they also sent the sweet peach palette. And once again, um, this was another one of those, oh, I gotta have it, I gotta have it. And I just like never got around to picking it up. So I'm very excited to try these. If you have tried either of these palettes before, let me know what you think of them in the description box, the description in the comments down below. Oh. I've only tried one eyeshadow palette from Too Faced and it was their Vegas Nay, Vegas Nay uh, collaboration palette, I believe. Yeah. Oh my god, life just flashed before my eyes. Um, definitely smells like chocolate. This is, all right, you're just gonna have to get blinded. This is what the inside looks like. And then for the Sweet Peach palette, okay, we're gonna hold it while I snip it, but I don't have to bring it that close to my face because Jesus Christ, like it, the peach just hits you in the face, but I'm not complaining, all right? This smells wonderful and here is the inside of that palette okay so thank you very much Too Faced Cosmetics that was extremely generous of you and uh, your girl gets to play around some more I've literally been looking around at every other box because these last I think three are just big and your girl doesn't want to pick them up but this next box is from Jouer Cosmetics and I'm pretty sure I know what's in this oh my god I'm pretty sure I know what is in this box this is what it looks like this is the box here 
Okay. Jua Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation. It's one of the most talked about foundations right now. Okay. I just got tired picking that box up. Okay, so <laughs> this is the box. Beautiful packaging, but I, this weighs more than I do, okay? This weighs more than I do. Oh, I'm gonna, oh wait, no, I have to open it. All right, so this is the inside. This is when, you know, having someone help you film would come in handy. Oh, my neck. Wait, I can't see if you guys can see this. Can you see? Okay, so on this side, there is a brush that they created to use with the foundation. And from looking at other people's snaps, I think that's like an eyeliner or something. And um, swatches of the shades and... Ta-da! Oh, no, you can't see it. Okay. Here are the 17 shades. Yeah? Oh, yeah, okay. Ooh. All right, so I'm gonna do a foundation hunt. Fo foundation hunt week is coming, and uh, I'm gonna do a foundation hunt video on this foundation because this was the second most requested uh, foundation that I got when I said what foundation do you guys want to see during that week. So even though I'm gonna do that video, well, let's just color match me, you know, while we're here. Um, I don't know how good of a look you got at the shades when I held this up, but I'm not even gonna play myself here. We're just gonna go to the last shade. I'm just gonna swatch the last shade because no, I'm not I'm not trying to play myself. All right, All right. Oh, so this is this is the last shade here. Espresso. This is the packaging. Sleek package. Oh, look at that shade. All right, let me just. Okay, and. So this is espresso on the back of my hand. Oh, your girl is just gonna save all her comments for that video. I mean, I was, gotta put on my face before we can make any comments, right? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna take a minute and uh, pack this box up. Uh, let me just pull out the brush for anyone who, or maybe I can't. This is the brush that they created to use with this foundation, which reminds me of those Artiste brushes. And I met Artiste at Gen Beauty and they gave me their face brush. So in that video, I will use this on one side and Artiste on the other because some people were asking me what I thought of it and I haven't used it yet. So now I can pack up this box and move on before I say anything. The next box is from Becca Cosmetics. Always get excited when I see a package from them. I get excited because they have beautiful packaging. This must be their winter collection. Look at this box. Won't be throwing this away. Okay, on the inside. Oh, gotta show that too. Look at that. So this is their face palette, I believe. Okay. okay. They sent a little sample of their first light priming filter. That's gonna get lost in the sauce, okay. And this is the inside, which has highlighters, blush, and bronzer. Okay. And the other thing in here is this eye lights. Eye Lights palette. Okay. Look at the outside of that packaging. And here is the inside. Okay, so thank you, Becca Cosmetics. Can't wait to try. Okay, so we are at the last box, which is that big ass box right there. And your girl does not want to pick it up. I just don't. Um, 
I'm gonna have to, so I'll be right back. I'm just gonna go get that. Okay, so this box is from Jouet as well, and <laughs> this is how long this box is, okay? Pretty sure something just broke. But imagine there's like a toothbrush in here. Like companies love love playing you with that. You're like, oh my god, this big box, and then you open it, and it's a mascara, and you're just like, bro. Oh. Okay, so to save time and space, I just pulled the two things that were in there out. The first is this box of their lips, longwear lip cream and sheer pigment lip gloss. Again, beautiful packaging. All right, and on the inside. They have three new lip shades. Jouer Sheer Pigment Lip Gloss, lightweight, non-sticky formula, coconut oil, available the same day. So they sent their lipsticks and lip glosses as well. Oh, that's a pretty shade. Via Condotti is a very pretty shade. All right, so those are the shades that they have just come out with. I actually think I'm going to add this box to one of the giveaway bags. Would y'all mind if a girl just took like one shade? Like just, 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 you know, you won't even realize that it's not there. If, if not, you know, let me know in the comments if it seems a little tacky just taking one shade out of it, then I won't do it. But if you don't mind, you know, let me know because this is a pretty shade. But other than that, um, I will be throwing this in there. And the last thing that I, ooh. Look at this underneath me. Look, with it. Mm. This might have to be like my reflector in videos from now on. Um, but the last thing in there was the Jouer Longwear Cream Lip Liner. All right, there's the box. I don't know if they had lip liner before. Like this is something that's completely new. Okay, four. 14 shades. Okay, so my camera died and while I was waiting for it to recharge a little bit, I went ahead and swatched just four of the lip liners so we can just go ahead and wrap up this video because I'm pretty sure it's going to be long already. Um, so this is, okay, so that the darkest one is Espresso, then I have Clove Shimmer, Tawny Rose, and Rouge. Um, all of them look like cr nice formula, creamy, pigmented lip liners and with espresso the dark brown one I can probably give Mac Chestnut a break um so thank you to Jouer Cosmetics and thank you to every other brand that was mentioned here if I didn't you know already say thank you to them I'm always appreciative of all of the packages that I receive um, because they make my job a whole lot easier when it comes to making content for all of you If I showed anything that you want to see in a separate video that I didn't already mention that I have an idea already um, Of using it in a video then make sure to comment that down below or any other type of video that you would like to see Make sure to thumbs up comment and subscribe down below. Thank you all for watching. and I will see you on the next one. Bye <laughs>